If a person is given a shot of penicillin and nearly dies as a result because they are allergic to penicillin, do we say that the answer is to give them more penicillin? If a heavy drinker goes to AA and gets worse as a result, do we say that the answer is to go to more AA? Some people are simply allergic to AA's spiritual program. Some of these people will do well with a program like Smart Recovery, which is secular and abstinence-based. Some people do not do well with any abstinence-based program. For these people, harm reduction is an option. Every drinker, regardless of how much they drink, can practice harm reduction. There are ways to plan your drinking so that it is safer and less likely to harm yourself or harm others. What is essential whenever you drink, you must plan, plan, and plan ahead. If you wish to go to a bar, take a bus to the bar. Then you will not be tempted to drive home because your car is not there. You will have to take a bus home from the bar. If you are always tempted to drive when you drink, perhaps you need to sell your automobile and buy a bus pass instead because it is much better to have a bus pass than to go to prison for manslaughter because you killed someone driving drunk. If you want to avoid blackouts when you drink, you should always eat well first and drink plenty of water before drinking any alcohol. If you want to avoid bar fights, perhaps you should start stop going to bars and only drink at home instead. And if you want to avoid getting fired from your job, perhaps the strategy is to stop drinking on work nights. You can still get just as drunk as you want on weekends. Just don't drink any alcohol at all on work nights. And condoms. Whether you are drunk or sober, gay or straight, male or female, these days it is always wise to carry condoms, period. For more information about harm reduction for alcohol and safer drinking strategies, please visit the HAMS Harm Reduction Network. Our website is at www.hamsnetwork.org. Thank you.